Good afternoon, Don Steele here, continuing with the fundamentals of the Steel Balls program. Today I'm going to be talking about step number four. Step number four is find her. We've gone through step number one, look like somebody she wants to talk with. Number two, be able to identify which women are interested in you. That's body language secrets. Step three, assert yourself. In our society, men have to go first, learn how to be assertive. Today is step four. You're dressed right. You know what you're looking for. Is she interested in me? And number three, you know how to be assertive. Number four is going to be find her. Why am I laughing? Well, I wrote this book in 1987, and the question I still get to this day, 87, 97, 2017, 33 years later, the question I still get is, <laughs> where do you meet women? The answer, my friend, is everywhere. The most important place to find her is when she, where she's not looking to meet a man. When she's looking to meet a man, you are outgunned on all sides by men who are better than you and everything. Don't go where women are trying to meet men. That's useless. Bars, clubs, singles events, things like that. Go where they're not looking to meet men. Where would that be? Classrooms, weddings, parties, political uh, organizations. Uh, one of my guys on the list now is a rock climber, and he met several women, all rock climbers. Very strange. I didn't expect that to ever happen. So you might, you find women when you're not when they're not looking to meet men. Okay, simple as that. The number one place to avoid, in my view, is bars. Why? <laughs> well, the women are alcoholics or they're losers of some kind, and they're in there trying to meet men, and they're really not interested in you because. You can't possibly play in this environment where men have been doing this all their lives. They're single bars hustlers and club hustlers, and you just are so outclassed, it's a waste of your time. Don't bother. You're outdressed, you're outdanced, and you're outdrugged, okay? Wrong place. Go where they're not looking to meet men. Go to a college classroom. That's where I met several young women there in the book. Lynn Kay became a, a friend for life. I met her when she was, uh, I was 36 and she was 19. Rio Hondo Junior College where I was taking film production. Take classes at these, at these places that, where you interact with other people. You're not just sitting there being lectured to by some egghead. Uh, film production, Anything where you've got to get into teams to do something. I think uh, one of those field classes like in environmental something or other, you have to form into teams and go find things. That's, that's the kind of environment where you're going to meet women. Another place to meet women in this uh, coming year, this is uh, early 2020. It's, I think it's almost March. Yes, yeah, March. Uh, Super Tuesday is going to be three days from now, four days, whatever it is. And so I met many young women working on political campaigns. I'm a libertarian. So I don't say anything about the politics when I'm in these, working, helping these Republicans. I'm in favor of whatever they're in favor of. And I'm just meeting women, licking envelopes or uh, passing out handbills or canvassing, knocking on doors, whatever the guy wants you to do. And which candidate should you work for? Republican, Democrat, or Green Party, anything you want. Pick the most handsome man who's running. Why? Because all the women will volunteer for him. <laughs> and you get to go, I learned this by accident. I just did it. And there are all these beautiful young women. They're helping out in the name of the cause. <laughs> Save the whale, that's a good place to go to meet women. Save the earth. Uh, all that tree hugger shit. Women just love that shit. Just keep your fucking mouth shut and meet the people, drink beer with them, get to know each other and have a party. That's the best way. Totally everybody's relaxed. 
when you go to a bar, women are all uptight. Christ, somebody might not even make a pass at them. It's this horrible thing that happened. And you're not too relaxed and smooth either when you're in a scene like that. I've never met anybody at a funeral. I've met plenty of girls in classrooms. I've met many girls at work where I used to work, big companies. Uh, the easiest place I ever met women was they were working as waitresses in uh, coffee shops. Not fancy places, just coffee shops. Bob's big boy is uh, three blocks from me down that way. And in the summertime, my office is in the back of the house. When the sun's beating on the back of the house around three, it just gets so hot in there, I can't stand it. And I used to go to Bob's big boy and just sit there and read the sports page and drink Big Diet Coke. And the girls would come and I'd talk with them. And I always, this is back in the 80s, say 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. My favorite place, 90. One, ninety-two, ninety-three. Twelve years of Bob's big boy. And um, the girl the book is dedicated to, Carla Ann, worked there. A lot of the girls in the book I met there. Um, the point is, they're not looking to meet men. They're just trying to make a buck. And if you're friendly, they're friendly. And one of the, my... Uh, techniques is chocolate, uh, individually wrapped chocolate, uh, like uh, almond roca. They just love those. Uh, don't get the cheap Halloween candy shit. <laughs> get something expensive that's wrapped in foil or looks nice. And uh, you can just give her a piece. Say, I'm having a bag of these. Here's one for you. She takes it, and it's just wonderful. It's a little gift. Courtship requires the male give the female a gift, and you're giving her the first gift, a piece of candy. The other thing that worked for me spectacularly back in the day, there's newspapers I can't find. I don't see anything to use. But I used to tear the horoscope out of the paper. It was at the bottom of the page. Easy to tear out, fold it, rip it out, and read it. Girl comes to the table, and you're reading your for essay. Look, right here it says, today I'm going to inherit a lot of money. I hope that's true. I don't usually believe these, but I hope that was true. What sign are you? No. Uh -huh. Want to see? And give her the horoscope. And then you can talk about the horoscope. The other one's called the People Magazine. All these are discovered by accident, okay? Not carefully planned out ahead of time. I was reading a People Magazine that I'd taken from my dentist's office. Uh, had some article in it I was reading. And so when I left, I just took the magazine with me. So here I am sitting in a restaurant reading People magazine, which is kind of strange for a guy, you know, to be reading a female gossip rag. And I found an article in there, I think it was about Tom Cruise. And I'm reading this and a girl comes to the table. I said, do you see this about Tom Cruise? The Scientology stuff? I don't know what that is. I'm going to read this. I'll give, it, I'll give you the magazine when I'm done. You want it? You do? Okay, I'll see you when I go out. Now, there's a gift, and she shows it to all the other girls, and they all talk about People Magazine, and she remembers you. You gave her a gift, People Magazine, something she's interested in, and you've proven to not be a stuffy old fart by reading People Magazine. Not, you don't really do it all the time. You just happen to be doing it. You can find her at the high school uh, jogging track. I started getting in shape when I was 35. And by the time I was 42 or 3, I was in very good shape, and I stayed in shape by running every day. And part of being a runner is you got to time yourself in two, two miles, uh, a two-mile run. You want to try to do it in under 16 minutes. That means you're in aerobic shape. So I would go down to the local high school here in Whittier um, and run around the track. And one day I happened to go down there at 1030, and all the senior girls were running around the track. And they passed me by and they smelled so good. Imagine 30 to 40 young women with tits bouncing on both sides of me, laughing and giggling as they go by in their buns. And the, the smell was just oh, heavenly. Perfume mixed with sweat, mixed with pussy drippings. Man, it was fucking paradise. But that won't do me any good. All it does is torture me. It's like going to a topless bar. You can look, but you can't touch. 
and these girls are not going to talk to you. I'm running around a high school track when you're 40 and they're 20 or 18, 17, 16. They're, they're not going to talk to you because mommy said men are only interested in one thing. And when an older man talks to you, he's probably going to rape you. <laughs> so you got all that going against you. So the, the rule is find women where it's easy to meet and you have something to say that makes sense. Can't be running around the track and say, boy, I'm doing good today. How are you girls doing? Well, you could say that, but <laughs> useless. They're going to blow you right the fuck off. Waitresses, you can talk about the horoscope or the People magazine. Uh, the women at work, you can talk about the upcoming whatever, or movies or TV shows or anything like that. Women are interested in movie, TV shows, celebrities, and uh, those idiot programs like um, the Bachelor, oh God! But you have to, you have to know what they're talking about. They, they can't say something to you about a TV show that they're watching, and you have this blank look on your face, like Dad. You don't know, okay? The Masked Singer, nonsense like that. You at least have to know what it is, so you don't go, "Oh, I've never seen it." <laughs> All right, you have to know what they're interested in. That's so we can talk, but that's a few lessons down. Right now we're talking about finding her. When you find her, you must be dressed for success with women. That means you never leave home, even to go to the supermarket, unless you're dressed for success with women. That means everything matches. You look balanced, symmetrical, and harmonious. Okay, Your colors go together. You're, you don't have on a, a jogging... Uh, shirt and dress slacks and sneakers you everything fits together okay no matter when you go out that door miss wright could be waiting for you at the 7-eleven you're just going to run down there and get a coke or whatever you're doing but don't go in there without looking like you're a successful man women are interested in a successful man they're not interested in another fucking teenage loser with a jacked up truck and a ball cap on backwards they're interested in somebody they can take him to Vegas, take him to the beach and spend the night at the Holiday Inn or, or maybe even the Hilton. Wow, at Huntington Beach. <laughs> okay, you and I laugh about that, but that's a big deal to them. So you have to look like somebody that can afford that without even blinking an eye. You don't want to go in there looking like you're just another guy. You have to look successful. That's what they're looking for. Look successful when you're out. Anytime you leave the house, successful. 